we're going to show you a full sculptured gel nude nail with the new precision gel applicator right now on Nail School. Tracy, today you're going to show us uh, real instruction on how to sculpt a beautiful nude gel nail with the precision gel applicator. Any other details in store for us, or is that pretty much it? Did I just sum it up? You summed it up, man. I think, I think if people just try this, they'll, yeah. they'll love it. I, we, we had the mentor who just tried it for the first time, loved it. So loved it. that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, um, the response we've been getting from this new product has been extremely positive. The ease of use and uh, the speed as well. That's what she was shocked at. She's yeah. like, I didn't think it could be any faster. Yeah, it's much faster. Tracy's gonna show you. You ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start by pushing back that cuticle slightly. Getting ready for prep. Gonna grab our medium arbor band. Gonna turn it on about 4,000 RPMs. Gonna overhand grip. Tuck back in that cuticle. I always pay attention to right by the cuticle first. Then I follow through and remove the shine from the rest of the nail. Once we have that, we're gonna take our swipe. I like to use a clean manicure brush to dust everything off. We're gonna brush down. What brushing down does is it pulls everything out of those nail grooves, making sure that nail is nice and clean and ready for product. Next step is protein bond. We're gonna put our first coat on there, brushing it in over the whole surface of the nail. We're gonna do that to all 10 fingers once we're done with the 10th nail, we're gonna come back and we do a second coat. And this way we know we're not gonna have any lifting problems. Next, we're gonna grab our form. We're gonna get that on the nail. Some people break the back open. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's all preference. Get that on her nail. Get it where we're gonna have kind of a nice almond look. Make sure we're straight. Looks good. Next, we're gonna use our Concealer Peach Synergy Gel Precision Applicator. Guys, if you are trying to get into gel, it is time. I wanna show you how easy it is to apply we're gonna start with the free edge first. We're gonna connect right in that center, right to that natural nail. I'm gonna turn her nail. I'm gonna start moving that product, connecting it to the sidewall. I'm gonna come back, do the same thing, start in the middle, turn her finger again, connect it to the sidewall. Once we have that, now we can start extending. So I'm just gonna, as I squeeze, I pull it down. Squeeze some more if I need more, pull it down. Then we can start making sure we're all connected. Here, I've stopped squeezing because I don't want any more product. And I'm just guiding it with that nozzle to move it exactly where I want it. So easy. Okay, once we have that, we're gonna get her in the light. We're gonna get her in the light. We're gonna cure her. Usually, while well, the other hand, I'm working on the other hand, I would just have this in the light, but we're just gonna cure it out for 30 seconds for now. We're gonna pull her out of the light. Now, we need to add our base gel. You could add the base gel prior to doing the extension. I like to do the base gel after I do the extension. The reason I like to do it after the extension is it's going to anchor everything to this tip. So we're gonna put it down, push it into that nail bed. Still need the brush for this because that way we get it right in there. See how I'm pushing down on it, making sure it's over the whole entire surface of that natural nail. Here's another benefit of doing the base second. If you have any gappage here, you can take your little base and even it out. Okay, 
And again, we cure it while we're working on the other hand. We're just gonna cure it for 30 seconds. So here's the benefit of having that base down first is we're able to pull that form off and that base has kind of anchored that tip. So when we pull the form off, it doesn't break. We want to remove the form because we want to make sure we get a cure from the top and the bottom. Next, we're going to build our strength and our structure with our precision applicator. I'm going to start here. As I start to push out on the tube, I'm going to pillow it to that back area where I need it. Moving her finger, guiding it with that applicator. I hold her finger down. This is really going to help pull it away from that cuticle area so we don't flood it. Once we have that, I'm going to push some more out and start building our strength, our structure, our upper arch. As you can see, by holding it down, it's really guiding it right to that stress area where we need it. Once we're about here, I'm going to push out some more and fill in the rest. Guiding it all the way down. If you don't need any more, stop pushing. Guide what you have. All the way down. We're going to take a look at the side view. Make sure we have enough product. We need a little bit more, so I'm going to push some out of the applicator and guide it. Okay. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the upper arch. If you need any more, you can just push and apply it where you need it. We don't need any more. We're going to stop there. Okay. We're going to get her in the light. I'm going to turn it on the low heat mode. This is a 99 second cure. In about 30 seconds, it's going to increase power about halfway. At 50 seconds, it's going to increase the power all the way. And that way she doesn't feel any heat spikes. Okay, guys, I want to explain to you what I'm looking at when I'm deciding whether I need to add more product. I always turn the finger and look at it from the side point of view. It's the most important view. Gel especially can look very deceiving from the top. It'll look like you have plenty of product. You turn it to the side and you realize that you don't have enough in that stress area. So this nail, I'm looking at it. I have it thin in the back and as we get towards that stress area we have a nice amount of thickness which is adding to that nice curve and it tapers off at the tip. This is going to be a nice strong nail. It has a nice strong sidewall. I know for a fact that this nail isn't going to break. Okay, so we're going to grab our swipe. We're going to grab our lint-free wipe and let's wipe that sticky layer. Now we're going to file and shape. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and grab our coarse safety bit. I like to use my electric file prior and then I'll do all my hand filing. So we're going to turn this on to about 14,000 RPMs. We're going to get our structure, our curve going first. So I'm going to start in the back. We're just going to work down the center of that nail. Right here, coming through tapering it towards the end. So I'm really kind of curving that bit and that's what's going to give me that upper arch. So zone there, follow through, taper at the tip. Okay, once we have that, I'm gonna make sure that back area, that cuticle area is nice and thin. You wanna make sure that this is nice and blended in to that natural nail. If there's a ledge, your customer is going to pick it. Now I'm gonna turn her finger and I'm gonna look down this point of view. When you look down this point of view, you can see where I've e-filed down the center to get that upper arch. Now, when you're looking down this way of the nail, you can see everything that needs to be blended in. So this is a really important view. If you look at it this way, you're gonna see everything. So now I can take my bit and I can blend those sides, tapering them in and blending it into everything else. If you have one side that's thicker, you can put a little heavier touch to it. As you come across to what doesn't need to be filed down, lighten up your touch and that'll blend it all in. Now that we have that, we're gonna do our hand filing. We're gonna start with our sidewall. We're going to file straight up and down. 
this is why we season the file, so we don't cut our client. Okay, once I have that dust line, can you see that dust line? Good. That dust line lets me know that I have it going straight from the groove, straight out. Once I have that, I'm good. I switch to the other side. Straight up and down with that nail groove. Once that line, that dust line right there is going straight with the groove, I'm good. I can move on. We're going to make sure that we have this nice and tight. So I'm going to come in below and file up. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now let's blend everything else in. Just gonna take our file, run it across. It's a really light touch, especially when it comes to gel. I don't have to do a lot of filing. If I did have a bump I needed to take down, I just put a little more pressure behind that file. It'll file it down faster. This, we're just kind of blending everything else in. So it's a very light touch, just making sure everything is nice and tight. Sure, our shape is on point. No pun intended. Paper blend. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take her finger and I'm going to look down this point of view. This is another really important view. This is how your client looks at their nail. So sometimes we're filing here and your client's telling you that they see a bump. But from this point of view, you're like, I don't see the bump. I don't know what you're talking about. But if you turn it and look at it from the way they're seeing it, you usually will see what they're talking about. This is going to set you apart in your work. It really makes a huge difference in your nail shape. Okay. We have our nail. We're gonna grab our swipe again. We're gonna grab that brush we used to cleanse her earlier. Remove all that dust so we can put our top coat. We're gonna grab our protein bond. We're gonna coat it. If you guys are getting chipping with your top coats or your gel polishes or any of that on your enhancements, it's usually because you're smoothing the nail out too much and you're not using protein bond. I go straight from a 150 file to protein bond into my top coat. This way I will not have any chipping. We're gonna use our stain resistant top coat. Get a nice layer on. I like to kind of float it. That makes sure I get a nice smooth application. Got a Furby, get that out of there. Okay, let's get her in the light. We're gonna cure this for one minute. We're gonna grab our swipe again, grab a lint-free, and remove that sticky layer. Classic, sophisticated, gorgeous nude set. Tracy, talk about what you did today on Nail School. You know what? I, I love the color of Covered Peach. Yeah. It's got, it's just the tone of it goes Warmer. with almost everybody's yeah. skin tone. And we had a few people ask like, hey, you guys have shown Covered Pink. Can you show Covered Peach? And I, it's one of my favorites. I, I prefer to wear it. So. Yeah, and it's, it's just a slightly warmer yeah. concealer pink, mm -hmm. right? Or peach. And then the, the pink, Concealer Pink is a More little a cooler, cool. yeah. right? Yeah. Both beautiful, I guess, depending on what your preference is. Yeah. Um, great for summer. Great for summer. It Perfect for summer. Amazing actually. on tan. Super simple. Like, I don't think you can lose with this set. No. I love how you showed in detail how to use the new Precision Applicator. I still so think it's the easiest, fastest way to do it. So easy. Yeah. So, easy. so simple. Again, if I can do it, anybody can do it, right? 
See you next time on Nail School. Oh, yeah.